Force Racing Kid signing on handicap racing from Parks Racing here on Mondays, September 5th, 2011. Each race I'm going to handicap are the state races, races 9, 10, and 11. Since Gante's ninth race, what's the fifth running of the Turf Amazon handicap? First $200,000, Philly Mayor's Wheels and Upward, 25 throwings on the turf course. Still 12 horses to get to post, and I'll be doing exactly here in the 5 9. Number 5, Rose Catherine, 5 2. Javier Castellano, top hut trains last time out. Front up Belmont, 6 rungs, and Kairos' stakes on July the 9th. Came a third by 1.5 rungs. He uh, paced and 2 path and weakened. Front up Belmont, 6 rungs on the inner turf course in New Bay stakes on June the 8th. Went by half lengths, he rated 2 path to the 8th uh, pole and to safe home. Then Pim will go five rounds in the very one, came in third. Was an imp um, very impressive trip. So, going with this one, I'll be also going with the nine horse here Colonial Club, 10 to 1 Forest Boys and Jockey. Last time out, Bruno Monmouth, five and a half rounds in the Candy A. Clare Stakes on August the 13th. Came fifth by two three quarters lengths. He left, needed to uh, respond. Then Colonial, five and a half in the Buckland Stakes on June the 25th. Came fifth by two and a quarter lengths. He dueled him off and dueled. Then a five and a half at uh, Mammoth June fourth in the Fort Mammoth one by half point. He's a very impressive winner that day. So going with this one. So we count my bets for race number nine from Parks Racing going five nine. Let's get on to race number ten. Tenth race from Parks Racing is the tenth ring of Turf Monster Handicap. Grade three per three hundred fifty thousand dollars for thrills and upward. Going five thrills. Field of. Well, 12 horses going to post, and I'll be doing a uh, trifecta 269 here. Number 2, Varsity, also entered a race number 8 up at Saratoga. Uh, last time out there on July the 10th, 5.5 rounds in the Wolf Hill Stakes at Monmouth Park. Came 7 by head. He rushed inside gamely. Then Goldstream, 5 rounds in April 21st. And I'll launch race 46,000. Came first by 2 lengths. He drew clear in driving. 5 rounds at Goldstream. On March 27th, the launch race 44,000 came second by a neck. He couldn't last. Then Goldstream, five from main special weight 38,000. One by one, a core lengths. He's a uh, awkward start and left sanely. So, going with this one, I'll be also going with the six here, Wrigley Ready. Corey Nakatani's jockey, five, two, Steve Ashmussen trains. Last time out, they were uh, in Mammoth Park, five and a half rounds in the My French Men Stakes on August 6th. Came third by a neck. He was real turn, needed more. Then at Churchill Downs, five rounds on turf, turf sprint on uh, May 7th. Came first by one of Corlinx. He was off the rail driving. San Diego, six and a half in the, in the Sun Seminole stakes. One by nose. He was inside clear to held game. So I'll be also going with this one. I'll be also going to paint my trifecta here of the nine. Ben's cat. Four to one. Jeremy Rose Jackie last time out. Did run at Penn National, five rounds in Pennsylvania Governor's Cup handicap on July 30th. Came first by Nick. He's two pack in time driving. Then at Parks Racing in the Park Stash for two hundred thousand dollars on July on June the eighteenth. Came second by Hetty, five wide into stretch. Then turf for Nap Pimical one by two lengths. He's wide and driving. So going with this one. This is a prep for the one you're in for the Breach Cup sprint. So recap my bet choice number ten from Parks Racing going up to two six nine. Now let's get on to race number eleven. Eleventh race from Parks Racing is the second running of the Smarty Jones stakes purse three hundred thousand dollars for thrills. Uh, prep for the Pennsylvania Derby to run later this month. First time it won't be run on Labor Day in a while. 200, 300,000 going miles, 70 yards. Here in Smart Jones Stakes for three year olds going miles, 70 yards. And I'll be going with the 3910 here. Number three, JJ's Lucky Train. Paco Lopez, 5 to 1 last time out. They run on July 31st at Monmouth Park, Mile Nathan Hasp Invitational. Came fourth by three links at 14 to 1. He's bid four wide and not finished. Then Belmont, seven frongs, and Woody Stevens stakes on July the 11th. Came in second by two and three quarter links. He was a, he was a outside long drive. And then Churchill Downs and Derby Trial came in third. He ranked bumped that starting gamely. Did win the Bay Shore at, that, at, uh, at uh, on, odds on odds that uh, on uh, on April 9th. So I do like this horse here, and I'll be also going with the 9, Hands on Fire, 5-2, your Louisiana Derby winner uh, in March. Last time out there on the Mammoth and the Haskell Invitational, came 5th by uh, 5 lengths, it came 5th by 9.5 uh, lengths, he had a bit 4 wide and tired, 
uh, normal pilot was in the back, uh, the normal rider of pilot was in the saddle, Rosie and the Pravic were, uh, has a arm injury. But then in the Pegasus, one of the Pegasus is for the Haskell, one by two lengths, he bumps at the start. Might be a perfect distance for this horse. Uh, ninth in the Kentucky Derby, wasn't a great uh, race that days, four wide second turn, and then the Louisiana Derby came first. I just track led, and he was an underdog. He was at odds of six to one with the entry. So going with this one, and I'm going to ten rush now. Joe Bravo, seven two last time out from Mount, uh, excuse me, Mountaineer Mile Eighth in the West Virginia Derby on August sixth, and came in a uh, second by two a half lengths. He's angled five wide, couldn't hold. Then Delaware Mile Seventy in the Barbaro Stakes. Came first, fourth by three and a half lengths. He's been eighth full, not enough. Then, uh, Mom with Mile 70 and spend about one by four and a quarter lengths. He set the pace clean. So, I'm going with this one. This horse did run the Delta Jack Pack last November. Came seventh, wasn't, dis wasn't disappointing seven. So, going with this one, so I can't my about to race from 11. Parks Racing going three, nine, ten. So, it's the horse racing kids, and I often have the luck to all.